I did from 96 to 2003. That's the third strike. How much time did you have? 25 to life. And they don't give you no good time, good behavior. I do 85% of whatever they gave me. I'm going to lay my life on the line. Juggling these streets, take your feet on the line. Hustle to increase, put it all on the line. How this style set me free to walk in yards on the line. Every day I wait for like my life on the line. Jungle in these streets, take your feet on the line. I have a question uh, real quick. Are you ready? To hit the, the the stage again, to 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 get with your supporters and rock the crowd again? No. Oh. Oh. Man. Um. What to edit this out? <laughs> no. What, what what me saying that is this? Life has changed. Um. I don't know if I'll ever be that comfortable around that many random people oh. ever again in my life. Now, don't get me wrong. The performance and the and all that type of shit. Hell yeah, I want to do that. We've been out of work for shit, 16 months. That's like uh, a, uh, that's no, like a no, sentence. That's like a sentence. Uh, out, of, out, of, out, of, out of that strand of income, mm -hmm. we still get the streams, the download money, the all that type of shit. Okay, but you're talking about live performances where we're able to sell merch. See, now you got to do all your merch online. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, but hearing about it. when you engaging with your, your supporters, your fan base, these people want to shake your hand. These people, you know, they want to come up to you. They want to take a picture. That's not social distancing. No. We, got a, we got a disease or a virus that's out here, man. You don't have to have eye contact, let alone sexual contact with a motherfucker, to catch some shit that will kill you. So yeah, as far as me being around that many random people, not knowing their habits, not knowing if you vaccinated or not, yeah. not because I'm not. I ain't vaccinated yet. You feel me? But... Just that part of it scares the shit out of me. And, and, and it should because, you know, you're not going to do just one show. It's a couple shows you might do this weekend, this tomorrow. And we got, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of people coming and going. Not even the fans, the, the people who work the shows. Come on, man. You know, it's just we don't we don't know. It's going to turn spooky, man. Come on. We don't, yeah. scare the, we don't want to scare the people off. Man. No, well, I mean, shit. They know, they yeah, know what's going on. this is public on. information. Life has change and it will never be the same the thing is establishing a new normal for wow. whatever that might be yeah man a lot of people ain't comfortable with change no it's change is scary to some people some people are dive right into it head first but the thing of it is like i said you know touching hands um getting next to people taking pictures I don't know how that's going to pan out. I don't know how that's going to work. And I don't see, all right, they've been doing shows at uh, like drive-ins and shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, oh, yeah. you're supposed to turn your, your station, your, your, your radio, to a certain station or whatever. Oh. You can hear what's going on. Yeah. Okay, quicker than you know it, you got people hopping out their cars because they want to come up here. Okay, now, that's what creates the situation of it being unsafe because security ain't gonna handle that yeah when you when you go to when you go to sporting events or certain things like that they telling you to stay within your family group they don't want you mixing and mingling yeah, with yeah, other people yeah, 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 yeah. okay now i'm starting to see that you have to show proof of vaccination or a negative covid test which is 72 hours something like that to even be allowed into the place yeah. people that's comfortable with that that's fine it's gonna sound like the mark of the beast up in no, this I, shit. No, I'm not gonna get off into that. Yeah, but, but when you start, you start, you start. I mean, everybody got the way they feel. Now, you know, I ain't gonna change nobody's feeling, but it's how they feel. But you really look at this shit. If you, it's like being on lockdown on the yard from square ass motherfuckers out there that don't know nothing about that. You know what I mean? Can't niggas get the, niggas get locked down in them cells for 16, 17 months. Niggas minds get the racing. Come on, man. They open the motherfucking doors. They ain't got control, no feed, no modified yard. You got a bunch of maniacs out here got devious thoughts, all kinds of shit in their head, and you letting all these motherfuckers out on the yard. Them niggas ready for activity. Well, it can get their frustration off. So we look at, and I'm, I'm trying to parallel to, as they said, everybody off lockdown. It's because we're going to lock down. Everybody out of lockdown. What the fuck going to happen out here? Ray got a lot of crazy shit going on. Motherfuckers getting gunned down. Uh, what? 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 Getting Capitol Hill, all kind of. Check this out. Shit going on. People getting gunned down because shit. It's cool to have a fucking mask on. It. It ain't a problem. 
police pull up on you, got your mask on, they ain't even giving a fuck. I will wear a face covering or a mask or something for the rest <laughs> of my fucking life. I don't care if the, the whole planet is vaccinated because it showed what can happen, man. See, now if you notice, some of the Asian people, they was already rocking their mask before this shit ever yeah, even came yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Michael not, Jackson not was rocking his mask. Way back in the day. You know way what I'm back. Saying? So some people had to be up on it or maybe in fear of, you know, but I'm going to tell you this. Since this COVID, I ain't even had a common cold. So it shows, I guess, you know, your habits is being a little bit different. Yeah, you going you gonna, you gonna to go through some hand sanitizer, some soap, some bleach, some alcohol. Oh, man, hey, man, hey, hey, hey. hey knuckles ashy as a motherfucker on a constant basis you know what i'm saying because and see what they don't understand is this they lock us all up well, i ain't gonna say lock us up we gotta stay in the house right well, a lot of people committed suicide they did yeah. and no one addressed that yeah nobody addresses that shit some people can't take this shit some people lost everything that they worked their whole life for and see with us we can we can go through the struggle because see a hustler might be broke today and balling tomorrow. Man, take it depends on what's going on. Get rich. You understand what uh, I'm saying? See, uh, and now you have some people out there that are off their whole family and they self because they lost their job and they don't have a source happened, of income. Man. That's fact. You understand that what I'm saying? Happened. That's in the news. You've right. had you've had couples who's getting divorces yeah. because they've been forced to be around each other Ooh. for more time than they've ever yeah, been around each yeah, other. You yeah, got I some, you got some, you got some couples who have gotten closer. They rekindled True. their relationship. Mm -hmm. So it can work in different ways. Just like how you said, people get let out. They're going to be going wild and crazy. Some people is just going to be happy to be out mm -hmm. while others is going to be on a rampage. Yeah, mass shootings and shit. I think more, it's, more shit going on than ever. it's also what jurisdiction you in. Niggas like us in L.A., we can't wait to get out because we so used to being out doing whatever we doing because yeah, this is a fast, out. you know, we in L.A., we we always fast. But if you're somewhere in a calmer environment, you know, out in the boonies somewhere, you're like, well, I'm going to fucking wear anyway. So this is perfect. I just go outside and, and tend to my cattle and yeah, go back in the house land. Yeah, my land i'm good it doesn't bother them it doesn't bother, bother them one us. bit but see let me tell you this some of us out here i'm gonna include myself some of us haven't stopped you could pass certain places you got 30 40 doors chilling still passing blunts mm. I, i'm not doing none <laughs> of that bro, bro. That you know what i'm saying um it's just more of a precautionary thing i got you you know what i mean i want to say this only thing about this pandemic kind of just, you know, I say it's fucked up. You got kids, yeah. right? Yeah. And kids not going to school, going to Zoom school, not be able to go play football, tennis, volleyball. You know, it's just, it's going to kind of- It weigh in on your mental. Five, 10 years down, the effect of the lockdown that trickle down into homes with the kids. Oh, yeah. Their education, their learning ability, their attention span, their fear. I should go, you ain't gonna find a way, but this is about 10, 15 years down the road, what happened, uh, come out of this pandemic shit. Okay, now off subject of the pandemic, what about all these kids that they have locked up in these detention facilities without no parents? Oh yeah, they got that in No parents, I saw that, they got that in the okay, city. So they, 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 nobody's addressing this. These are gonna be a lot of broken children. Yes. Because when you get that type of environment, that is a jail, environment only the strong survive, survive. you got some kids who's never had a fist fight in their life they don't get one in they're in this and they got them sleeping on on, on foil yeah at first bad. they had little bad. Bad blankets and be, see like they downtown dtg now a lot of these kids are going to be broken yeah. because of this see nobody addresses that type of stuff man but the pandemic got regular Americans who's used to getting out there and doing things. Um, some of these kids who have straight A's, they, they grades decline. Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to learn on this screen right here. Mm -hmm. When you had some kids who their grades kind of shot up, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of these dudes as seniors in high school that this is their last shot know, at trying up. to get a scholarship yeah, to go. That's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, now you only got five games. You pull yourself, playboy. And Ooh. it's no playoffs. Mm -mm. It's no 
championship. Yeah, like you know something about football. It's none of this. Um, I know a I little think, bit. I think, I think you might be right. You know, I know a little bit about it. I've been around the game my whole life. Um, uh, I've coached several players. Um, really, coached a whole group of kids from the age of six and seven. All the way, oh, all the way up to singers. And the thing of it is this, it's a beautiful thing to see a lot of these kids blossom and yeah. turn into young men. And see, I never really publicized, oh yeah, I coach football and rule. It's a lot of us do, Big Steel, for instance. Oh, you know what I mean? Well, shout out to Steel. Soapbox just walked up in the street. Okay, now. Shout out to Big you Steel. Got, you got, you have a lot of us, Dub C, you got- uh, um, yeah, His nephew, a beast. Okay, you got K-Mac. Uh, mm -hmm. You got, all right, look at what, what Snoop was doing his league. You got a lot of artists out there that coach these kids. Yeah. They're giving back. One of my homeboys has got a football yeah. team in, uh, in, uh, in, my, in my homeboy league. Yeah, yeah and right. see, and, and, and the thing of it is um, giving these kids a positive role model. If you go coach a kid and the deacon from the church go coach the kid <laughs> you're more of a person they can identify with yeah you know what i mean so they listening to what you're saying they know you're not no softy nothing mm -hmm. against deacon from the church but what i'm saying is it's 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 two different type of men yeah, out here different, different. when they see a solid dude telling them something mm -hmm. they, hey they they full fled man they'll run through a brick wall for a slice of pizza man tell them you're gonna have pizza at the end of practice if they do a certain thing and, yeah. and 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 they with it. And the thing of it is to watch them kids go from being real little kids to young adults now. Mm. And it's still, hey, coach. Hey, so coach. You always you gonna be coach if you do them right. If you do them right. If you do them right. If you're janking on their mamas. <laughs> and you, no, I'm, I, I'm just being dead. Yeah, serious. for sure, for I'm sure. Being dead ass you serious. Go. You 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 janking on their mamas. You out there humiliating them in front of their peers. Um. You singling out families who can't afford Ooh, certain good. things. Okay, these gonna be the same little dudes in six or seven years that. pulling pistols on you. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So you're doing right. You always gonna be coach. I learned. I learned uh, that coaching thing is so different. Uh, my homeboy, uh, Big Scrap, uh, brought me on to coach with my homeboy uh, with the beginners uh -huh. and then Super Bowl football league, and I wasn't ready for that. The way coaching is today. Mm -hmm. they, uh, Teach him a different way to coach now. Because when I played Long Beach Wilson, oh yeah, and when, I, and I, when me and still played at uh, Long Beach City, it was a different, it's a whole different style of coaching. Man. Yes, and like I got a coach right now that coached me in high school. It was like six foot seven white dude, neck this big, hands that wide. Uh, coach Gene, hope you're getting better, man. Um, he used to grab us up, hey man, hit the hey, oh, hit him like this. You know what I'm saying? You could grab you, you can oh, talk yeah. to you. Oh, yeah. You can't talk to the kids like that. No. The parents was coming all off the stands and doing some other shit. That shit is crazy. Well, my, 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 my dad, my mom had one coach with the coach, one conversation with the coach. I've never seen them talk to him after that. Yeah. There was that one conversation like that, they shake hands, that's it. Yeah. Never, never saw interference of the, the parent and the coaches. Locking up the words and about to get down to the get down. Oh, see, back in the day, coaches call you MFs, SOBs, oh, yeah. and everything, and, 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 and it was accepted. And see, the thing of it is this: it's like um, I always just keep in mind that you're dealing with somebody's child, man. Yeah, yeah and, you are. I don't grab my kids by their face mask. Uh, it ain't no none of that traditional tapping on the butt. I tell my player, don't ever let nobody touch you on your butt, male or female. You understand what I'm saying? We tap helmets out here. Yeah. So then, when my kids. They'll see a, a coach do they player like that. Uh, he let him touch his booty. We got you. We got you. Because they refer to him as being soft now. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's not only teaching these guys the game of football. It's teaching them how to be good men. Right, right. You know what I mean? And yeah. once they develop into whatever they're going to develop into, nobody is looking for nothing back from these kids. This shit is voluntary. Uh, mm -hmm. It's volunteer. You're not getting paid to coach these kids. You're doing it from the heart. Mm -hmm. And to watch these kids grow and develop and turn into young men is is, is something beautiful, man. Yeah, it's different, man. And they're going to bring you something back, a diploma, a degree, and, 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 some and, and, sort of certificate. Like if it wasn't for you, coach, you know. Even if they didn't, even if I never saw them again, the fact of it is I had a chance to experience these kids and their families because mm -hmm. I've had a couple dads come like, 
hey, hey, can you get in my son's ass? How you do, David? Well, actually, David is my little cousin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I could talk to him a little bit different <laughs> than these other. But it's a trip to see parents wanting you to be a little harder on their kid. Yeah, 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 because yeah. If, if, if I send my child to karate school, man, by the end of this, he better know some karate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm talking about. So when somebody send their kid to play ball, they might come out there and not know none of the drills the first day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I done had I done had players come out there confused. Mm -hmm. By the end of the season, they balling. They mad because they missed a the tackle. You know what I'm saying? So just just that in itself, I'm not the only one. It's a lot of artists out there that's coaching football. It's a lot of artists out there with kids that's mm -hmm. in high school and college now mm -hmm. that's finna go do their thing. Right, right, you feel right. me? I'm out. I, I know Warren G, we not close homies, but I know him. Mm -hmm. And just the fact to know that his son is 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 on his way. I know in my heart that boy is shut down corner. Oh, you 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 go up you go up a can of worms up in here because Mr. Digital Soapbox son also play on the other side of, of Warren G son. Oh, is that what? Yeah. What? Yes, sir. What? Yeah. This Come is on, live man. Feed, man. This is live feed, y'all. It has to be a that. wonderful feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because, like, like I look at, uh, I look at MC8. Mm. You oh, feel yeah. me? His son, a quarterback. He out there doing Can his be. thing. Okay, Dub C son. Whew. Khalid. That boy <laughs> is the man. You understand mm. what I'm saying? It's a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to see these kids do their thing. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with uh, their parents having star power. This is all with their kids being talented mm -hmm. on That their is own. true, yeah. Everybody yeah. think they just, you know, already, you know, sometimes, not in this situation, but a lot of kids are born on third base already. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some have to, you really have to get up and bat for yours. Yeah, yeah. And I think players of, um, I think, like, uh, if your daddy was in the league, mm -hmm. you, got a, you got a better shot and really get into the league because they know the proper channels. Mm. That don't mean you're gonna get a shot. That don't mean you're gonna make the team. And some of them, just to be honest, be garbage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's a lot of the players on the team that know that. Oh yeah, they know oh, that. Man. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Let me tell you something, man. I don't think like we had Castle came up there and played for that team to beat the Raiders and that snow job. I don't want to say the name. You know my homeboy got three rings with him. Oh yeah. Man, Castle came up there. He wasn't. Started nothing, he came out of here on his business, yeah. So, you know, we got I know what the controversy called. I get one about the snow job. I want to get off of the football. Yeah. Listen, man, we've been there babbling, man. We can, we, we, we would love to have you come back when you, when you want to. Uh, I appreciate you coming down, but anything you want to say before we slide out of here, uh, anything you can say to the people, to your. To your gamer friends, not fans or supporters. Uh, supporters, uh, uh, like I love, I love all of them. Like I said, it's, it's some of them that's annoying, but they take the time out of their life to hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Right. I love y'all. I love my music fan base. Uh, my music fan base and the gaming fan base go back and forth because you cannot pull up one video that I'm on on YouTube. When we when we when we finish, yeah. you can go on YouTube. You cannot pull up one video without somebody saying something about CJ. That rapping has nothing to do That's with that man. video game. But this is what these people know you from. If, uh, I don't know that his real name, but Al Bundy, right? Oh, Ed O'Neill. Oh, Ed, Ed O'Neill. Now check me out. If he would have never been on Modern Family, we just know him from As being Al, Al Bundy. Al Bundy. You can't the shoe that. salesman. Yeah, you cannot be from Polk High School. Four touchdowns <laughs> in one game. Four touchdowns. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can't hey. be mad at from where people know you from. Can't. You know what I'm saying? That's just like um Urkel. For instance, Urkel. Um, for instance, DJ Pooh. Hmm. He played Red and Friday. Well, he did. He's not gonna be able to get away from being red, but he's uh he's also a a, a film uh director, a script writer. He's also a hell of a producer. Wrote three he strikes. Has, he, it wrote three strikes. The wash. He up. has films under his belt, but some people are only gonna know him from Red. My grandmama Red. gave me that chain. Exactly. And uh, if you want to rewind way back, you want to rewind. We're gonna tell our age right now. He was also the nigga dancing at Who's the Mac. 
Wow. Oh, yeah, straight with the fish shoes. Yeah, who's the Mac? If if y'all get a chance, go pull up Ice Cube. Who's the, who's the Mac? That's DJ Pooh doing his thing, dancing in in pimp suit, looking like a homeboy Huggy Bear. Come on, man, the, the dude is real. Uh, he's he's funny. He's and he got some. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he produced the theme song for the Big Three. Matter of fact, he did. I'm yep. Not sure. No, no, I'm positive. He, I'm positive. I'm positive he did that because he was in the studio when the big three first started. Uh-huh. Him and Q was in the studio I'm doing it. You, you know it. Oh, That's yeah. 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 Listen, uh, we wind it down. This shit tearing me up over here. <laughs> <laughs> we will have you back. I want y'all to know this is uh, live on the JJ from the YouTube channel, Digital Soapbox, Twitch, uh, Instagram. we on all streaming platforms. Remember, Digital Soapbox is coming to Pod TV. We're gonna we're gonna uh, slide and glide on over there. We're gonna just tap in with y'all on Insta, on uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, we're on some more stuff live. It's running across the screen. Uh, anything you want to say, Junior? Man, before we get up out here, man, I'm I'm gonna let uh Melee go on and do his thing. Whatever he got coming out, coming up, involved in, without giving all the four one one. Just a heads up if you want to let people know what's going on. Um, I don't have a definite release date for nothing, but I do want to say thank you to each and everybody who ever supported me. I don't care if it was in the beginning or if it was right now, because like I said, I'm not on TV or the radio all the time. I have an organic fan base and I love each and every one of y'all. And I want to thank y'all for having me because oh, yeah, man. I'm not the hottest nigga in the streets right now. You understand? But you, but you, would, you the realest though. <laughs> that's the thing. It, you the realest. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And I love y'all for that. Thank you. It's all good. You know you family, man. I want y'all to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Follow us on, on the line with JJ from me Jr. You follow Digital Soapbox, Moon Cup Production. Digital Soapbox got a whole bunch of other shows on here. I need y'all to follow that. Also Gangster Chronicles. Uh, rap a lot radio and all the new stuff that's coming out. Uh, shit, I'm gonna end this right here. Shout out to Prime Times, Smooth Cup Productions, Squares Everywhere, Artist Shield. Every day, every day on the line. Every day, every day on the line. Every day, every day. Digital Soapbox. Every day, every day on the line. I remember every day on the line. Well, every day, every day.